Hi, I'm Paul. I'm Paul Kack. Uh, well, I do some teaching, but I also love this garden stuff. And my wife told me, she said, um, at one point, don't bring me flowers, which is a strange thing for a woman to say. She said, bring me dirt. My wife Kiva over there uh, loves this kind of stuff. And so we came on her birthday uh, on January 2nd and took our first look. And then we began to think about what we could do and what it might look like. And it was basically a month and a half of just looking, just thinking what does the space want us to do or not to do. We have water coming off the baseball field. And so we had to rethink how water works so that we could save the water and put it into the ground and keep it so it could help nourish our soil rather than just sending it off to the streets and wasting the water. This is the first attempt at our, at our food. So we have in here 49 tomato plants. Uh, most of these are different tomatoes, heirloom varieties, black tomatoes, red tomatoes, purple, green, orange, yellow tomatoes. Amazingly tasting, beautiful inside and outside. And we cross our fingers and pray to Jesus that he will do what he says he will do. And we will have seven walls of tomatoes uh, by midsummer. And these nasturtium flowers right here were already here and we decided to leave them for a little while because did you guys know that these are edible flowers? So you may have seen in a restaurant, you can, you can put, people put these on their salad. You can eat them. Although this is a pretty good sized space, this won't feed a ton of people. So we don't have high hopes that we'll be able to replace all the cafeteria vegetables with our vegetables. Uh, but maybe there are students who have need of uh, fresh organic food. Uh, the Women's Development Center has a food bank and um, it might be nice to partner with them in something. And if people work here, then uh, they should be able to, to take a tomato or a zucchini with them and, uh, and you know, the fruits of their labor. Um, so we'll see. I'm not worried about it because there's always hungry people and we'll make sure they get well fed. So, so I was one of those kids. I did not grow up with the smartphones that your generation has available to you. Uh, but I hated being outside. I hated chores. I hated dirt. I hated all that stuff. I didn't want to do that. But as I've gotten older, I've come to really, really love being outside and working. And so if we can get a little time out in our life away from the box that, that holds us to see what God is up to, uh, that will contribute towards our health. It'll contribute towards our sense of creativity. It'll contribute towards our understanding uh, of the creation and what God is doing uh, and our relationship with creation, as useful as those are, we gotta have this or we're in trouble. Did I say 49 different tomato plants? I think I said that. I'm excited about that, so I keep saying that. <laughs>